Here's all you have to do. Learn to work harder on yourself than you do on your job. Once I understood that philosophy, it totally changed my life. Work harder on yourself than you do on your job. If you work hard on your job, you can make a living, which is fantastic. If you work hard on yourself, you can make a fortune, which is super fantastic. Success is something you attract by becoming an attractive person. Success is not something you pursue. Success is something you attract by the person you become, by becoming an attractive person. Never be satisfied with yourself. Always know that as you invest the effort and time on you, that's the greatest ability that human beings have above animals. See, a dog can't be anything but a dog. A tree can't be anything but a tree. Human being, you've got unlimited potential. You can put effort on you, and by concentrating on you and developing you, you can transform your life wherever you are right now. So you want to work on yourself. My dreams are first every day, then my wife, then my kids. I can take care of my wife and my kids now, would you agree? I abandon this, this is the fuel for who I am. I abandon this dream, and then I end up, I can't take care of them. And then I'm gonna tell them what? It's all right that you didn't win. No, it's not all right if you don't win, you need to win. How many of you need to win more? Okay. If you don't control your environment, folks, somebody else is gonna control your environment. You guys that run teams and run organizations, if you do not control your environment, someone else will control your environment. You are being controlled in your environment right now. If you don't control your environment, it starts with me. When I was 45 years old, I'm like, I'm gonna control my environment. I'm gonna take every penny I have, all the energy I have, all the resources I have, and I'm gonna improve me. If I got to go broke in the process, because I'm already broke. Look, if you're not fulfilled to your, if you're not reaching your full potential every day, you're broke right now. If you find your passion, you're going to have this tremendous energy. It's sustainable energy. But momentum requires you always do the next thing to keep the momentum going. If you believe in what you're doing, that's fuel. It adds more fuel to your fire. You got to keep going. You got to keep pushing through. You got to keep persevering because at the end of the day, when you do and you do and you do more, you will be amazed at how the universe conspires to help you get to the place that you that you wanted to get to. So believe in you, block out the shade and let your sun shine on through because it's on you to be you. And the reason you get yourself in a passionate place is so that you change your life and the only thing that changes your life is making a decision. So while you're in this passionate state, that's where you make decisions. The only way the commitment and the energy and the momentum continues is if you take immediate, massive what, my friend? Massive action is the cure-all. Massive action is the cure-all. That's how you develop yourself. That's how you begin to appreciate what you get. When you're working on a dream, at some point in time, a transition takes place. And the transition is, is what you are becoming in pursuit of the dream. Because even if you don't get the dream, you become such a strong and powerful person, it will so change your life, you can look at something else and say, well, I think I'll go do this then. Because you have now developed yourself in such confidence and such competence and how to deal in the arena of life that you can move into another area and not miss a beat. Once you begin to discover who you are, then you really realize how you have been given authority and dominion over everything on the face of the earth, including all the dimensions of your life. But you can only do that through the struggle of life. And most people avoid the struggle. Most people go through life avoiding pain. And when you go through life like that, something in you dies. Something in you that you never activate is lying dormant in there that you never get a chance to call on because you have not challenged yourself. Somebody said the land of familiarity belongs to the dead. That most people like to feel like they're a king in the area of their comfort zone. They only want to do those things that they know how to do well. 
Osborne said, unless you attempt to do something beyond that which you've already mastered, you will never grow. So if you want to begin to grow, you've got to put something out here that you can't reach easily, that has got to make you stretch, got to make you jump for it, got to make you get back a little bit and dig in so that you can take a leap for it. And maybe you jump up there and you miss it and you skin your knees and you come back again and you bust your lip next time. But you keep on and through that process, you learn how to leap higher. You start challenging yourself to dig deeper and then you discover some things about you that you don't know right now. Some talents that you have in you that you didn't know that you can do. If you want to begin to make your stuff happen for you, I think that it's very important that you start trusting yourself. Listen to yourself. Listen to that still small voice within you. Don't try and make everything logical. There's some things about life that defies logic that you just can't explain how the outcome is going to be. I think that's why Paul said you've got to learn how to walk by faith and not by sight that once you begin to trust yourself and your ideas and your instincts life takes on a whole new meaning because now I want you to do that feeling that you are led just feel I am led ladies and gentlemen don't give your power away you don't need anybody to approve your dream it was given to you if they can't see it it's because it wasn't given to them it was given to you hold it nourish it cultivate it work on it it's yours it's your baby work on it until it comes into fruition i gave away my power and i said i'm not going to do that no more here's something else for those who make it today do what you know is right treat people like you want to be treated don't try and take any shortcuts don't try and cheat pay your dues up front. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, what goes around comes around. You can pay now or you will pay double later. So do the right thing. There might be a tendency sometimes because of the negative part of our consciousness and our own programming for us to want to say, well, I just do it this time. It won't matter. Won't nobody know. Ladies and gentlemen, everything matters. And you know you're somebody. You know. I'd rather lose out on my dream doing the right thing than the cheat trying to make a shortcut to get to my goal. I want to be able to look myself in the mirror. And that's what you want to do. There's no saying, judge a man not by what he does, but by that that he doesn't have to do. And to judge the true quality of a man is what do you do when nobody's looking. See, there's some good out there for you in the universe that has your name on it and nobody can get your good it has your name on it they can't take your stuff it's your stuff so when you know that when you know that whatever you're seeking it's also seeking you you don't worry you don't run scared you don't think somebody's going to take it from you you listen to your inner voice and you always take the high road